How's it going guys? I'm Scott Wright, Director of Curver Coach in England and Wales, and this is our special Curverex session for the Women Euros. This is Emma. We're going to get straight into the session. Remember, we're working in ball mastery moves, game moves, and then hitting straight into the Curverex challenge. Mastery move one. Looking now into ball mastery move two. So it's going to be a variation of that dribble cut. So this time now what we've got is doing the same dribble cuts but using the sole of the foot. So again, really, really good to change the angle of attack when you go into game play. So same again, little touch with the outside of the foot. This is hopefully going to move the opponent. And you're now using the sole of the foot just to bring the ball across. So it's touch and sole, touch. And we're just shifting feet each time. So we're stepping into it. And these are really, really good moves, like I said, to change the angle of attack, to open the game up, to switch from left to right and right to left. You okay, Emma? Again, it doesn't have to be at full speed at this point, just getting the movements right. Okay, ready? Let's play. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax there. Good job. So we're ball mastery move three. So what we've got is in, out, in, out, soul, out, soul, out, in, out, in, out. Show you from behind. So in, out, in, out, soul, out, soul, out. And again, both really, really good. Opening the game up. You ready? Ready, play. That's it, get that ball out of feet. Good, so remember that touch is gonna move the defender out of the space you might want to pass through or move into. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. Now, that was a really slow 10 seconds, I think, then, Emma. Working you a bit harder than uh, I was supposed to. Move one. So, what we're looking for in this is we're actually going to be working on change of direction moves. So, the defender in this instance would either be in front of you, so you could be traveling across the pitch as a central midfielder as an example, or to the side of you. So Emma, if you just come to the left of me here, imagine you're, you're a defender, you're just gonna work on the inside and outside cuts. So you're gonna push the ball forward with the right foot to protect the ball from the defender that would be here. I'm reaching and cutting the ball back with the inside of the left foot. And now turning this way. So if you shadow me, Emma, um, so you come with me, I'm now turning and protecting each time. So I'm coming and I'm chopping, and cutting in, I'm reaching and I'm cutting. I'm always using my upper body to protect the ball from where that defender would be. So be thinking about what's happening in the game. Okay, you ready? Just have a little practice of that. They're just working forwards and backwards, Emma. Okay, just for your inside and outside cuts. Ready, go. Good. There you go. Reach and cut. Reach and cut. Good. And again, when we're scanning in this, when we're looking, five, four, three, two, one, and relax there. It's gonna be like a different type of visual skill, isn't it? When we're looking out in front, your head sort of like this and your eyes are like this. In this instance, there's that little check of the shoulder each time because the, the angle of defensive pressure changes. So into game move two then. So this is gonna be the outside cut. So Emma, again, if you come in for me just quickly. So we're gonna push the ball forwards with the right foot. Now I'm gonna to look to try to cut the ball back with the outside of the right foot. And if we can push forward with the left foot to protect the ball from where the defender would be, push it forward with the left and you're gonna step in and cut the ball. So you're going right back 180 degrees. You're playing on that same line. So you're going in, you're reaching and cutting. Touch, reaching and cutting each time. Got it, Emma? So if you just move forwards a little bit, there we go. Have a little practice of the outside cuts. Ready, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, really push that ball out of feet. Imagine the defender to the side. Three, two, one, and relax there, good. And then the combo now, so game move three is just to combine both of them together. So what we're doing now is we're gonna push, imagine defender starts to the left, push forward to the right first. So you're gonna reach and cut with the left, push forward with the left, reach and cut with the right, push forward with the right. It's now outside right, push forward with the left, outside left, push forward, and then we start again. So we're just going inside cut, inside cut, outside cut, outside cut. All good, Emma? You ready? Go. 10, nine, this is a good one to really like practice sort of wriggling and turning away from that defender to, that's at the side. Can you wriggle? Can you turn? Really, really good players have this in the locker. Five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic work. 
So that's your warm up. We're now going to get straight into the sets. We're going to start off with a 30 30 round. It's up to you at home to work as hard and as fast as you can to get the very, very most out of the session. Let's get into the set. Here we go then guys, we're going to get into the sets. This is going to be a 30-30 round. So the timer's coming on. So remember we're starting off with ball mastery move one. So we've got the dribble cuts using the inside and the outside of the foot. So remember this is a really, really good one for changing the angle of attack. So probably a little bit of a wider touch here and you're shaping up like you're about to pass. Naturally, if you're, if you're sort of having touches that wide, you've got a chance to unbalance the defender. Okay, so that's your dribble cuts to start with Emma. Okay, you ready? Really, really sort of cut into it like it's a pass. But he Exercise. Goes. Good, so there's one for Emma. Make sure that we're counting at home. Inside and outside foot dribble cuts. Good, Emma. Once you get into the rhythm, we're starting to scan. So we've got sort of 15 seconds left. We're about halfway. So you should be feeling now your heart rate's coming up if you're pushing and you're working hard. That's the idea. It's your job at home to be out of breath at the end of each 30 seconds. That's when you know you're working really, really hard. Three, two, one. Great job, Emma. I love that. Great work rate. Really strong start. Into doing the same thing, the dribble cuts. But this time now, we're using the sole part. So again, we're shaping into it and it can look like a pass. Uh, and this is what's going to help to unbalance that defender that might be in front. So we're using the sole for each time and we're moving side to side. Okay, Emma, you ready? So again, at home, make sure we're counting how many we get. Ready, play. Exercise. Good. Now, I think in, in this as well, if you do a perfect set, you're probably not pushing yourself as hard as you can go. So when this little mistakes are going to happen, and that shows that you're challenging yourself, you know, you're doing it as fast as you can. This is what we need for you to do it as fast as you possibly can at home. 10 seconds left, Emma. There we go. Eyes start to come up. We start to scan. Where are teammates, opponent's space? On the beat, can we go up a gear? Three, finish it strong. One, relax there. Emma, well done. Great job, this is not easy. So we're into game move three now, we're warming up. The moves are programming or getting programmed into our brain now. So remember this time, we're adding them together. So it's in, out, out, soul, out, soul, out. And basically two, the, the two movements do exactly the same thing when you go into gameplay, um, but also they look slightly different. So it's a good way to be unpredictable. Here we go, ready, play. Exercise. Good, nice soft knees. Remember that touch is about shifting the defender. It's a really good one to change the angle of attack. Right to left, left to right. 20 seconds left, Emma. Once we're into the rhythm, the eyes start to come up. We're halfway now. Heart rate should be up. Here we go, last 10 seconds. Can we finish it strong at home? Here we go, good Emma. We're on the beat, can we go up a gear? Here we go. Three, two, one, good job. I can hear from Emma, she's working really, really hard. And this is what it's about. It's about working as hard and as fast as you possibly can. So we're now going into the game move section. So remember, defenders to the side. So we're going to start off with the inside cut. So right foot touch, left foot cut. Left foot touch, right foot cut. So we're always looking to protect the ball. So we're actually using both feet. This is why technical balance is really important. So you can protect the ball. Ready, Emma? Go, play. Exercise. Good, pushing forward. And again, we're trying to wriggle away and change direction. Remember, this could be a defender in front of you or to the side. We're really focusing on the side here. So if you were linking this to the game, you could be a central midfielder, as an example, looking to change the angle of attack. 10 seconds left. Finish it strong, Emma. Good, can we get away from that defender? We've got five seconds. Three, two, one and rest there, good job. 30 seconds, breathe it in. Your heart rate should be up. This is probably, or I would say is the most used change of direction move when you watch a match. So this time now, remember, we're just going off the outside each time. So we're reaching and we're cutting. So the ball's coming back on the same line and we're accelerating away from that defender. You ready, Emma? And again, we're using that opposite foot to push it away so we protect the ball from the defender. Ready, play. Exercise. Yeah, there's a few ways you can do this. You might take it away with the same foot. If you're under real pressure, it might be the other foot, just to protect the ball. 
Again, if you're scanning and you're looking, you're going to know where the defender is, know where the space is, know where the teammates are. Here we go. Emma, really pushing. 12 seconds left. Doing really, really well. This is a solid set. Good. So we're just visualising that defender to the side. We'll be using our upper body for protection. Three seconds left. Can we finish it, Emma? What have we got? Good. So the last little one now. We're combining one and two together. So we've now got inside with the left, inside with the right. We've now got outside with the right. We're pushing away with the left foot, protecting the ball here, and we're going to start again. So in, in, out, out. Ready, Emma? Breathe it in. This is the last one. Game move three. Let's finish it strong. Here we go. You get out what you put in. Ready, play. Exercise. High speed. What have we got? It's a really, really good one for twisting and turning away from that defender to the side. Here we go. You've got 20 seconds left. Good. Finish it strong. This is it now. We need the willpower. We need the grit. You might be tired, but can we keep that concentration? Seven seconds left. What have we got? Can we remember to turn away? Take away with the right foot. Good. Emma, it's a double high five this time. Really well done. That's an absolutely brilliant set from Emma. I hope you guys have worked as hard and as fast as you can at home. We're now going to get into the Curve Rex Challenge. Here we go then guys, it's Curve Rex challenge time. So at the end of the Curve Rex session, what we want to try to do is see where you're at with your ball mastery from this particular session. So this is your chance to test yourself as hard and as fast as you can with the moves that we've just worked on. What you're going to be looking to do is combine ball mastery moves one and two with game move one and two to create a sequence that you have to do as many times as you can, as fast as you can in 30 seconds. I'm going to get the timer on now and just quickly run through the sequence so we all know what we're doing. So remember what we've got is the dribble cuts in, out, in, out. Dribble cuts with the sole, out, sole, out. Straight into the inside cuts left, inside cuts right, outside cuts right, outside cuts left. Then you're gonna start back in here with your dribble cuts. All right, you got it? You got three seconds. Let's go. Exercise. Good, Emma, solid start. I reckon if we can get through three of these in 30 seconds, it would be amazing. So we're really pushing off. When we go into those game moves, well recovered. So this is tough work. Good, Emma. And we're starting it again. Good. Don't forget to scan in here as well. Excellent work. Inside cuts, outside cuts. Good. We're ready. Three, two, one. And relax there. Emma, really well done. High five. So guys, that wraps up today's Curve Rec session. Fantastic effort from Emma. Hope you guys have worked half as hard as Emma has, because if you have, you would have got loads out of this session. On behalf of Curve Coaching, our global partner, Adidas, and Pro Direct Soccer, thanks for tuning in today's Curve Rec session, and we'll see you again next time. To be in with a chance to win some fantastic prizes from our global partner, Adidas, all you have to do is film yourself in action, post to social media, making sure to tag in at CurveRW, hashtag CurveRx, hashtag WEuros2022. We look forward to seeing you in action.